वी हैव ए कार दैट इज मूविंग विद ए कॉन्स्टेंट टेंजेंशियल एक्सलरेशन ए टी एंड इट्स ट्रेवलिंग ऑन अ रेडियस आर द कोफिशन ऑफ रिक्शन इज के वी नीड टू फाइंड वॉट डिस्टेंस इट कैन राइड विदाउट स्लाइडिंग सो द कार इज गोइंग ऑन दिस पाथ ऑफ रेडियस आर एंड स्टार्टिंग विद जीरो वेलोसिटी एंड वेलोसिटी इज इंक्रीजिंग विद टाइम सो you can imagine that as the velocity is increasing at one point it's going to slip so when that happens till that time how much distance the car has traveled that's what we need to find so one thing is that whatever acceleration this car has that is due to the frictional force because that is the only external force on the car which is acting on the tires so only external horizontal force on the car is friction that determines the net acceleration of the car also when it is about to slide friction is maximum so the car because it has tangential acceleration also it will have overall two accelerations one is at tangential and one is normal towards the center so its overall acceleration will be somewhere on in between the two accelerations so that means the friction will also act in that direction where the overall acceleration is so that's what we'll do we'll write the frictional force equal to ma in this direction and frictional force will be maximum because the car is just about to to slide so let's write that fk is equal to ma and frictional force its maximum value is kmg and acceleration is root of at square plus an square and an is v square by r and what is v square so because the acceleration is constant tangential acceleration is constant v square is given as 2 at into s by our equation of motion so we replace that value here and we know everything else so we get the value of s which is our answer